today's morning devotional. The Promise of Power. The Outpouring of the Holy Spirit. For John truly baptized with water, but ye shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost. Acts chapter 1 verse 5. It is not because of any restriction on God's part that the riches of His grace do not flow to men. His gift is godlike. He gave with a liberality that men do not appreciate because they do not love to receive. If all were willing to receive, all would be filled with the Spirit. We are too easily satisfied with a ripple on the surface, when it is our privilege to expect the deep moving of the Spirit of God. With the reception of this gift, all other gifts would be ours, for we are to have this gift according to the plentitude of the riches of the grace of Christ, and he is ready to supply every soul according to the capacity to receive. Then let us not be satisfied with only a little of this blessing, only that amount which will keep us from the slumber of death, but let us diligently seek for the abundance of the grace of God. Promise after promise is given, assuring us of the fullness of power that God has, and yet we are so weak in faith that we do not grasp the power. Oh how much we need a living, earnest faith in the truths of God's word. This great need of God's people is constantly before me. What can we do to arouse them to see that we are living in the very evening of this earth's history? We need to seek for a faith that will lay hold of the arm of Jehovah. Only to those who wait humbly upon God, who watch for his guidance and grace, is the spirit given. The power of God awaits their demand and reception. This promised blessing, claimed by faith, brings all other blessings in its train. It is given according to the riches of the grace of Christ, and he is ready to supply every soul according to the capacity to receive.